Welcome back everybody, it's Kree Rama from Junk Journal Divas. Today I am super, super, super excited. I have been working on putting these packages together. Oh my goodness, I've been cutting up fabrics and sari silk and my dining room is a disaster, but these kits look amazing, I think. So I'm going to go through all of them. So first I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna go through and then we'll start going through it. I've got four journal kits. Now these kits come with fabric for, a lot of them have two covers, sari silk, a lot of embellishments and 3D applique pieces, hand dyed papers, and I just hung a little dangle on each one with some fuzzy yarn, of course. You guys know I love my fuzzy yarn um, that matches the kit. So we're gonna go through these. I've got pink. This is, I'm calling this one the green, pink and green. Then there's this one I'm calling classic because it's like a classic Christmas colors. And then blue. Now, of course, I'm, I'm saying that these are for Christmas, but they don't have to be Christmas journals. Now, let's say you want some new things to play with, but you don't want to spend the money on an entire kit. Then I have these little snippet packages that we are going to go through. So this is the holiday version. We're going to go through, go through those. And I did a blue... Um, now, I might add some more of these to my shop. We will see what I get to. I have my sari bundles. Um, these are already in my shop, and I will link the video where I do a flip through of this in my video description because we already went through um, this bundle, but there is a bunch of goodness in here. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of. So I've got my texture packs also. Um, and I was thinking about doing one with holiday papers and because I've got a lot of pretty paper with golds in and some of the reds and greens and golds and you know the white texture stuff. So got these in my shop. I'm gonna start with the pink pack we're gonna go through, but I wanna say, first of all, one of the things that I get so much joy from is seeing how everybody puts this stuff together and uses it to create with. It's so much fun for me, truly. So I am going to be doing a giveaway so no matter what it is, it might be just fuzzy yarn, which I've also got these in my shop. It could be a journal kit. It could be the texture pack or a paper pack. Whatever it is that you included from my shop into your creation, if you post it in my Facebook group, which is Junk Journal Divas, or just on Facebook anywhere, um, also social media. You guys, my Instagram is in the video description also. I'm kind of new to Instagram, but if you're on there, please follow me and I can follow you back. But if you post your creations, when I see it, if you tag me, I will comment on your post and let you know that I have given you an entry into my giveaway, which will be um, like a new year giveaway because I'm going to give everybody time to receive these things and do some creating. So now that we went through all of that for the giveaway, let's get started and we're going to start with the pink kit first. This is the fabric for the cover, this polka dot. You guys, I'm obsessed with polka dots. <laughs> so this is 12 by 15. I This is something that I just added on and I did this because working with the silks and things, it's kind of difficult or the sari fabrics in general. Sometimes it's hard to work with them. So another tip that I wanna give you guys is spray glue. It works great so that you can just spray a, um, adhere a backing to it, makes it much easier to work with. 
So wanted to give you that tip first. Okay, so if I move, if I keep this on a piece of paper, I can start by showing you my avocado dyed papers. And you guys, if you've ever gotten these from me or tried it yourself, they are just so hard to really get the color <laughs> in a video, but they're like a, just such a beautiful pink, dusty pink color. And they've just become a staple in my stash. I always have to have a good stash of these. So in this kit, you get 12 of them and these are 28 pound papers. So we've got our cover, kind of working backwards here. Let's go underneath. Okay, so this is the other piece. This is a larger, a larger piece open this up here it's definitely big enough to use as a cover really you could make two journals out of this kit and we've got all of those the beautiful the beadwork and some sequins on here and just happens to be red and green on pink how perfect Okay, and then this is another piece. This one is really long. So let's see here. So this is probably 44 inches or something long. This is folded in half right now, but um, just a, a big long piece. This would be really pretty to cut into strips and do a, a ribbon or a ruffle. You know how you kind of do the ruffle in your sewing machine. Okay, so we've got that. And then I should put this here. There are two piece, pieces of trim. Now this has it um, sewn at the bottom so that it stays nice until you're gonna use it. But there's this piece and I made sure that these all these trims are long enough um, that you can cut some off uh, when you're putting it on the edge of your page. So like this is 11 inches. And this one's 10. Okay, then we've got this piece with the applique. Aren't these beads cool? It almost looks like a coil, but they, they are beads on there. I made sure that they all have some other little pieces on. So put that up there. Okay, you guys, this is one of my favorite pieces. Um, I'm just, I just love it so much. And this is 13 inches. And that is like two and a half inches wide, but look how beautiful all this beadwork on here. So I was excited to pull this out and I'm excited to see what you all do with it. Just so beautiful. Like I, I said in my um, Etsy description, I've had a lot of these pieces and just kind of hoarding them and saving them. And so I was excited to get them out and play around a bit. And then this little snippet from one of my sari packs. So we have that little pop of green and then I cut a piece of this off. I was thinking this would be a great um, pocket. So I've got this and this is an avocado dyed doily. And then, and then I have a little piece of this trim. Again, I was thinking like a little pocket or something. I just love this, this trim. And then another piece of trim. Now you could leave this as is, or you could cut these and use them individually, little pieces to just embellish little areas. And then we're getting to the snippets. So like this one, you can see this is a 3D. So some of them are 3D appliques with the gems on. 
And then both of these are also the 3D appliques. So we've got that. Let's see, we've got a pink one. Little snippets from this piece. So you've got some some other little pieces and these are really easy to just to use because you can just glue these down onto a page. So they're nice little little add-ons. Got the little rows. Okay guys. So again, this is the pink. I'll just kind of hold this up so you can kind of see all the different things in it. Okay, so next I'm gonna go through this one, the pink and green, and I'm just calling it green since I already have a pink one. So I put some green fuzzy yarn and little jingle bells on this one. So leave that on a sheet of paper so one of them will be missing, but you can see here we've got our avocado paper. And then we have the green, green dyed papers. And some of them have, you know, markings. Of course they're hand dyed, so you kind of never know what's gonna happen. So I've got um, different colors of green in here too. Okay, so we'll put these down. So I'll go first. This is just like the pink polka dot, except it is green. So this is our fabric cover. And again, I told you guys, polka dots. I love polka dots. Oops, I forgot my roller. Let's put the roller here. Again, I do have the dimensions um, in the listing for these larger pieces. So we've got six by 10. Okay, now this one is delicate. This is silk. And then we've got these little pieces. There are four of these on each piece. So we've got that. You guys, it takes so long even for me to figure out how to lay everything on the cover. <laughs> like this, I put this hot pink piece. So it's corded lace with some beads on it. And I put this on the top to kind of hold it down. We put Open this one up. This is another larger, larger piece kind of greens, stripey look. And this one, eight and a half by 12. These are great to, to layer. And you guys don't be afraid to tear it. Um, I love those frayed edges. So if you just snip it and then tear it, and I will be doing videos playing around with this stuff if you need some um, inspiration on how to do things and then also I get inspiration from all of you so this piece of sequins fabric this would be kind of nice to do little page tabs maybe all kinds of things you could even you can cut this way that's what I like about the fabric is you can you can easily cut um, you know because it's sewn in a perfect line there and I think this was for yeah, four by five. And then these two are from my sorry um, packs that I have. We need some of these in here, these colors. So we've got our gold and kind of a bronze color here. And then another little snippet piece. Then I'm gonna do these, the larger, this large border. I think this is two inches and 11 inches in length. Then this is a fringe, and this is just sewn here to hold it together so it maintains its shape until you use it. So that is in there. Another snippet piece. And then you guys, I don't know what it is about this lace. It's so simple, but I love this lace. All right, so this is 
four, four by eight. A little chunk of that to play with. And now we're getting to these little snippet pieces. So I've got some leaves and then I've got this cool 3D floral thing here. So, and almost at the end here, I've got this little snippet piece with some gems on it and then more corded lace in green. Kind of hold this up so you can see all the goodies in there again. Isn't this fun? <laughs> And the funny thing is, guys, even though I love doing this stuff, but I love to buy other people's stuff too. It's just fun to get new things to, to play with, right? If most of you are like me, this is where I get my joy. Creating and sharing. So this one, you can see the little jingle bells and the yarn I put on there. And this one is the classic. So this is kind of like my elegant, I should have called it elegant Christmas, huh? Because it's more elegant than, than classic, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Leave these on a piece of paper. And you can see I've got my greens, all colors. Now, some of them have, uh, this is all across the board. Some of my papers, have some mica. Here you can see the mica spray. And like here I've got some silver. So, and then we've got the reds. So those are our papers. Okay, now this one we're gonna do the cover pieces first. So these are our cover pieces. I really loved this this fabric with the poinsettias on just so beautiful so this is why I included some black and gold to go with this one black white and gold of course we've got our polka dot piece <laughs> okay so we've got that let's slide this over now, if I can remember how I laid this out. Okay, so the wide lace, we've got a piece of this. And this is long, so it's like 13, 13 inches by three and a half. This stuff I thought was kind of cool. It's it's um, netting in between here. This would be kind of cool to go on a pocket also. And this one is like three and a half by six. Another border piece here. If anybody knows what this is called, this work, um, here is another piece. I am trying to find more like this. Uh, it's just so beautiful and I, I can't find it. I've been looking, I have looked uh, for a couple of years and I can't find anything like it. So when I tell you guys that, this has some of my favorite things in that I've been hoarding. It's for real. <laughs> okay, so we've got that. Black um, pieces to go here. And these kind of looked like holly with the little berries on them. So some of those. And then we've got this heavily embellished trim piece and this is really nice and sturdy and it will glue down really easily so super easy to work with okay so i showed you these um but again i just you guys i really love this so when you're working with it think oh this is kristen's favorite <laughs> and it's like it's stitched on there it's just really cool i think but I can't find any of it anywhere. So we've got that and then we have this. Now, of course, I would cut these off and use as little embellishment pieces. This almost looks like a wing. And then we have another one, this with the, with the red. 
see, how do I want to put these here? Then we have this embellished corded lace with the beads on. Fancy. And then this one, this one has a lot, that's a lot of beads on there and some sequins. Fun pieces to work with. Okay, and then these pieces, some more sequins, and these are backed, so really easy to glue onto your projects and use. Then we've got the red corded lace. I'm a little bit obsessed with corded lace. <laughs> okay, then we have a white big applique, applique piece that's 3D with the sequins. So this has white and silver sequins on it and then uh, then these and you guys this is another piece that I have been hoarding <laughs> so there we go so oh I forgot this we have this piece of gold trim and I'll go ahead and slide this green paper in and we have the classic Christmas so again, easily enough to make two journals. Okay guys, then the last one is blue. And this is the only one I have left of this. So, okay. I guess I could just slide this. All right, I'm just gonna slide it. That was pretty easy. Okay, so the papers. This has a selection of different colors in here. So we're gonna start at the back here. I've got two eco prints and these are cardstock and they're on both sides. And then I put some of my, so this is cardstock, the rest is uh, 28 pound paper. So I've got some tea dyed papers in here and some of them have like a little tiny bit of blues and greens. I thought was cool and they kind of went. And then just some more blue dyed papers. This one I just did some stenciling. Then this is a piece of mulberry paper And then I had to put some snow. Looks like snow. Okay, now getting to covers. Now I'm gonna hold this, but I hope you can really get a good view of it because I, I love this teal kind of blue color. So we've got this nice big piece. And then we've got another piece. So this is like all shades of blue. So you can see this one. And then got this fun stuff. It's kind of like a gauze, but it looks like um, ice, crackling ice, doesn't it? And it is blue. You can, it's hard to tell, but it's like a, it's blue and silver. Okay, then we have this really large embellished piece. This is long, so this is thir well, 13 and a half, it looks like, by three, a little over three. Another embellished piece. And this matches this gown. We have a piece of the lighter blue lace. And I love this one. So this has kind of the, the lighter silvery blue, different colors mixed in with it. And this is over 12 inches. So we've got a large piece of that. Then we are getting to our applique pieces. 
Okay, I have this random little snippet piece, but I put a piece in all of them. Um, this would be great on a on a tag or however you can think to use it. And the good thing is these are pretty sturdy on there, the beads. So really, you could even cut this and use these in multiple areas. So we've got that little guy. Then this super embellished one. This is all beaded, if you can see that. Beaded with sequins. Got this little 3D guy. And corded lace that is beaded with sequins also. Another light blue piece with gold. Okay, and then the larger appliques. Now I didn't cut this, so you guys don't be afraid to cut this up and just use a little piece somewhere. You know, you can get lots of uses out of this. So there's a large piece and then this large piece. And again, I thought maybe somebody would want to use this on a cover um, and make it simple. So I didn't cut it up, but you could easily get separate pieces out of these. All right, guys, so this is the blue. Hold it up so you can see here. And again, I do have these, um, the large, the bundles, the sari bundles for holiday. So here you can just see some of the pieces in here. This is a long piece, it's folded in half. And you got some greens and reds. It's a nice holiday one. And then I put this one in, it's not even, it has pink and purple, but it's one of my favorites, it's so pretty. And then we've got some whites and some fabric pieces in the back here. So those are the holiday bundles. I'm gonna flip it over. So we start with, I just use this as the back. of show you here what we have and you guys I'm just going to do a voiceover here um, and speed this up a little bit because these are just little little snippets little pieces of embellished appliques um, and they're pretty much all uh, appliques maybe a few pieces of trim in there And then we do have this large piece. So just so you know, guys, this is, this is like six and a half inches long. And again, like I was saying, you could have this flower separate and these as separate little pieces, but I left it as is because maybe you want to use just this piece um, on a cover. And then I have these, and these are kind of the same. Um, the pieces might vary a little bit. So again, I'm going to flip this over and go backwards. So we've got our little fabric piece. Got lots of white pieces here. And again, I'm just going to speed this up a little bit, but you can see these are all um, applique pieces that have sequins and beads and 3D appliques and all kinds of fun stuff to play with. So this is a, it's, they're pretty big packs. is the snippet pack so thank you so much for joining me and again please don't forget about my giveaway tag me in your creations and get entered into the giveaway that will be in january thanks for watching